Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to strengthen your login by utilizing Twilio in an SMS-based multi-factor authentication. Alright, first things first, you're going to need an Auth0 account if you don't already have one. If you do have one, go ahead and go to Auth0.com and log in so that you land on your dashboard here. If you don't have one, you can check the video notes below. There's going to be a link there for you to sign up. Once you've signed up and gone through all the steps and, and verification needed, you're going to land on this dashboard page here for your individual tenant. Now I'm going to be utilizing the React starter code, which you can find also in the video notes below or on the screen right here. This is going to give us a very foundational setup. It's going to do all the code for us. We just need to update some values and then we're off and running. So again, go ahead and go to the GitHub page, clone this repository to your own machine, and then follow the steps down here to get up and running. Once you've installed and set up what you need to get set up in order to get this running, and you run this locally, this is what the app is gonna look like. Just a basic React app with a login button already ready for us. Now inside of that sample code, here I have it open, it asks us to create this auth underscore config.json file. And you can see it's got some dummy values in here. We're gonna to need to update the domain and client ID values for this example. We're not gonna be messing around with the audience today so that we can actually just delete this here. Now, in order to get these values, we need to go back to our Auth0 dashboard, create a new application, and then we're gonna grab it from one of the, the fields inside of that view. So once you get back to your dashboard page, on the left here, we're gonna look for this Applications tab, click Applications and Applications. You can see that I've got a bunch already in mind. If you're new to Auth0, this will be your first one. So press this Create Application button. And since we're working with the React starter code, this is a single page web application. As you can see, a JavaScript front-end app that uses an API, that's us. So go ahead and click that one, and I'm just gonna call this one the Twilio example. Perfect, once that creates, you can go ahead and skip this quick start tab and go over to settings. This is what we're gonna be working out of. You can see that, that my name is here, the Twilio example. The domain and client ID is what we need to pull over to our application, so I'm going to do that now. Copy that domain. And then grab the client ID as well. Perfect. Now that we have those values in there, back on our dashboard here in our application, there's a couple of fields that we need to fill out. Namely the allowed callback URLs, logout URLs, and web origins. So right now we're just working on localhost 3000. So that's what I'm going to put into this field here as well as this one and allow web origins. Perfect, with that URL in those three fields, we can go down to the bottom and save it. Perfect. Now, as long as you saved your code and started the server again, your application should now work in the browser. So I'm going to go to my localhost example here, do a little refresh. Now we can try signing in. So we'll log in to this application. I'm going to, for the first time, just create a new dummy user. So we'll say tyler2 at gmail, give it a strong password. Now after I press continue here, the next screen as you can see here is a consent screen requesting that I give this application access to my profile and email, I'm going to accept. And now I've successfully authenticated with this new user. You can see I have a little icon up here in the corner. And then on my profile page here, there's a little bit of information about myself. Now that I have my user here, I can easily log out and log back in using that same user. And you'll notice that as I do so, all it's asking me for is my username and password, my email and password that I've given it. There's no other authentication factors that are going to play here. And that's what we're gonna do now, is set up Twilio to make this a multi-factor authentication. Now, in order to get that set up, you're going to need a Twilio account. So a link to that is in the video notes as well, but you're basically gonna go to create a free Twilio account. It's gonna give you enough of credits in order to get this application working. But obviously if you're working with enterprise level stuff and so on, you're gonna to need to add a credit card and pay. But today you can get away with just using the free Twilio account as you can see here. Now, once you've gone through all the setup requirements that's asked by Twilio to get that free account, you're gonna end up landing on their dashboard. 
We're gonna be coming back to this dashboard here later on to grab this account SID and auth token value that you see here. But before we do that, we need to grab the Twilio trial phone number. Now this is a free number that Twilio lets us use. And then this is the number that our users will be receiving a text from with the code to input to complete their authentication. So just get the trial phone number that you see here and it's gonna automatically assign us a number to use. Click choose this number. Perfect, now this number appears down here below. All right, so now let's go to our Auth0 dashboard and now configure Auth0 to use Twilio and these values that we've created here as a multi-factor authentication. So back in your dashboard on the left, we're looking at the security tab and then the multi-factor auth. Now, these are all the factors that you can use when using Auth0 inside of your application. So you can use things like WebAuthn, one-time passwords, or even push notifications using something like Guardian. For us, we're going to enable the phone message factor. The first thing that I want to do is enable this. So I'll toggle this to green and you'll see the toast notification here saying that it is now enabled. You can use the Auth0 delivery provider or Twilio or a custom. Obviously for this example, we're using Twilio. Now there are three different types of delivery methods that you can use, SMS, SMS and voice, or just voice. Let's keep it simple and just do SMS. Now we need to go back to our Twilio dashboard and grab some values that we've already set up. So the SID, token, and then the from phone number that we've just set up. So I'm going to grab the account SID, paste that there, the token, And then I'm going to use the free trial number in the from box. Perfect. Now these two boxes here is where we can customize the text that goes to our users. So we can leave it as is, which will spit it out just like this, or we can change this text to say something different. We obviously don't want to touch this code in brackets here because this is that dynamic code that users will get and input into their identity service not zero when they're logging in. I'm just gonna leave this as is and push save. Now this save will update the configurations. Make sure you do toggle this to green. Now you'll notice that everything else is disabled, all the other factors except for our phone message option here. Now if we were to try this into our React app that I have running still, it's not gonna work because we need to do this second part down here, which is define how often we want our users to authenticate with multiple factors. Right now we're on never. There's two other options though, the adaptive MFA or just always. The adaptive is Auth0's way where we test the user's environment. And if it seems like a risky scenario, then we're going to ask the user to authenticate using multiple factors. Or there's just the always, which is no matter what, have them multi-factor authenticate. So I'm gonna leave it on always and press save. Now this is saying that all existing and new users who are not enrolled are gonna be asked to enroll in this multi-factor authentication. Perfect, we get their notification toast and now we can go and test it out. Now back inside of our application, let's go ahead and log in now that we've enabled multi-factor authentication with Twilio. So push log in and now we'll add the email that I created and the password. Now notice it didn't automatically log us into our app. It's now asking me to enter my phone number to receive that text code. We have this cool country selector here to get your country code. So I'm gonna leave it at the United States and enter my phone number. Perfect, now I'll wait for this message to come. There it is, and enter that code. Press enter, and with that code being successful, I'm now authenticated using Twilio and multi-factor authentication onto my dashboard.